So before the video starts, I just want to say that this is only one video in a whole series about mixing and mastering. I'm not a professional by any means, so I may be doing stuff wrong, but this is what I like to do to achieve my sound that I have in my beats. The beat we're working on throughout the whole series though is Ops by me and PXB, which is up on his channel. Everything that I'm doing in this video is what you hear in the final mix. So I'm showing you exactly what I did to make Ops sound like it does. Here is Ops before we do any mixing at all to it. And here it is after. So today's video is all about leveling, hopefully you learned some stuff and if you did make sure to tell me what you learned and if you know stuff that you want to share with people make sure to leave a comment. Thank you, I hope you enjoyed the video. So first thing you want to do is control, drag every single track and drag it down. So let's go select all of them and to deselect it you want to do control and select one track. Now everything is at zero which is what you want and all we're going to do now is take the kick and we're gonna make this hit at six. Six is a pretty good level, because you want some headroom. And headroom is just the space from whatever decibel you're at to zero. You want some so that when you, when you mix, and when you increase the level of the, sorry, I'm gonna kind of sidetrack. When you mix and you increase the level of the volume, you'll have room to do it. You won't be maxing out. Okay. So I'm gonna make that hit at six, perfect. And now I'm gonna wanna mix the 808 into it. And we're gonna want the 808 to hit a little bit beneath where the kick's hitting at. So the kick's hitting at six. So we want to push the 808 up as much as we can without it going over 6. I just want to see if it was peaking. Okay, and now let's get the 808 a bit turned down. So all I'm doing now is I'm muting and unmuting the 808 because I want to hear I want to hear if the kick is not hitting as hard because of the volume of the 808. So that's sounds pretty good to me. So now I'm just going to take the other 808 and I just want to make sure that this 808 is actually cutting itself. Okay, so now I'm going to take the other 808 that we have later in the song. I'm going to bring it into the section that we have highlighted, and then I'm going to bring this up as well. Now we would like this to hit about the same as the first 808. So the first 808 hit around, let's see. About 7.5, so we want this to hit about 7.5 as well. And now let's just listen to it. Turn it down a little bit because the kick isn't hitting as hard. It will make the kick hit harder too, as well later on. Okay, so now that we have that done, I'm going to take that 808 power down, Q 
queue up the first one, or re-enable the first one. And now I like to start with the hi-hats after I do my kick. So I'm just going to drag that up until I find a spot that I like. Okay, and now we bring in the clap. And we don't want anything to go over six now because we make the kick our highest level. Turn the eye up a little bit more. Snare one. Now snare two. So I have all the drums, 808s, and percussions leveled out how I want it to be. Now this is going to be pretty good because this is going to be the setup for having the melody come in. And now the melody, a good little tip that I've recently learned is to turn down your master volume and mix your melody in that way. Now the reason you want to do that is because if you have it all the way up, your volume on the master, and you mix in your melody, you might accidentally make it too loud. So then when someone's listening to it on a lower volume, it's going to sound like it's overpowering the rest of the sounds. This way you can really bring it up slowly 
and you can listen to where it sits best. So let me do that really quick. I'm going to play the same section again. This time, we're going to bring up the melody. Okay, I like it right there. I'm gonna bring it up all the way and listen to it at full volume. I'm gonna bring up the melody just a little bit more, and I'm gonna bring the hi hat down by a little bit as well. So everything's leveled out. We just have this one little percussion right here to do, and then we'll do the tags later on. I like to do the tags at the very end of the beat because there's kind of like a one-time thing. So I forgot to give you a side-by-side -side comparison. So here's the beat before we leveled it. And here's the beat after. As you can hear, everything is a lot more balanced, it's a lot more leveled with each other. It sounds like it all belongs in its own spot. This is what you're trying to aim for when you're leveling. Hopefully you got some good tips and tricks out of this video. Next video is going to be about EQ panning and then adjusting the sound space in the stereo field. And that'll really help kind of brighten it up, open it up a little bit more. It's going to make it sound a lot better. So that's going to be the next video. Hopefully you got some good tips out of this one. If you have any tips, make sure to let us know in the comments. And stay tuned for the next video. That's going to be coming out next Wednesday. Thank you guys for watching. I really hope I helped you out.